Praise the Lord, praise the Lord once again. I'm back to you and I want to wish you again a very happy new year this January. And I know that God is about to do the unexpected in your life. Just hold on. Something is about to break forth in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so I want to take the part two of the message. God will surely visit you. And so kindly, if you have your Bible there, turn with me to the book of Genesis chapter 50 and verse 22 to verse 26. And I will just at, uh, read verse 24, 25, and 26. And Joseph said to his brethren, I am dying, but God will surely visit you and bring you out of the land of which he saw to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Then, then Joseph took an oath from the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from here. So Joseph died, being 110 years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in the land of Egypt. Father, may you bless your word this morning, even as we share, may you open up the heavens and bless your people in Jesus' mighty name. And so, uh, I want to re-emphasize and say that Joseph, uh, say to the children of Israel that God will surely visit you. And he repeated it twice to them. That means when you see the word of God having a repetition, there is an emphasis and there is an assurance that God wants to bring to your attention. And so we say that the first P is that we are passing away. And the second P is the P of the promises of God that are yes and amen. And the third P is the P of prosperity, is the P of prosperity. In all your future generations, there will be prosperity. For the Bible says that I am taking you out of this land to the land which I saw to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And we understand that the land that uh, God was taking Abraham was a land that was flowing with milk and honey. Is a land that was flowing with milk and honey. So this was a land of posterity. Sorry, not prosperity, but posterity. There was a future generation. There was an assurance of a future generation because the Bible says that uh, Joseph, Joseph said, the Lord will surely visit you and take you out of this land to another land. And because he was dying, it means that there were, there were to come another generation after him. He knew that the generation he gave the promise, they will pass away. But one day God will surely visit them. And the Bible says it was after 430 years that they dwelt in the land of Egypt before God came to rescue them. It took a long time, but God did visit them. And so I want to believe God that there shall be posterity for you. You are not going down. You shall not wither. You shall not be forgotten. You shall have a posterity after today. After now, you shall be preserved. There shall be preservation and there shall be posterity, continuity. You shall continue. Your vision will not die. Your ideas will not die. Your company will not die. There shall be posterity after you. Your grandchildren will be celebrating the fact that you lived before them because there is posterity after you. I decree and declare over your life that you shall not end. You shall not be cut off. You shall not be cut out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There shall be continuity and you shall see better days tomorrow. You shall celebrate 
great because you have a future. There is a future for you. The Bible says, for I know the thoughts that I have for you, they are not evil, but to give you a hope and a future. And so there is a better tomorrow for you. There is a greater tomorrow for you. And so today, do not despair. Do not give up. Do not quit the fight because there is a good tomorrow for you in the name of Jesus. And though your beginning might be small, yet your letter end shall greatly in Increase. And so the fourth P is the P of preservation. God will make sure that you live to see that land. There shall be preservation because God says to them that you shall go to that land. Surely you shall reach to that land. That means that there is preservation. Corona will not take you out. HIV will not take you out. Uh, cancer will not take you out. High blood pressure will not take you out. Leukemia will not take you out. No disease, no sickness, no calamity, no arrow that flies by night nor by day that shall come and take you out in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you are preserved. Your business will be preserved. Your soul will be preserved. Your mind will be preserved. You shall not run mad. You shall not be in depression. You shall not be in stress. I decree and declare that there is preservation over your life. You shall not die prematurely. You shall not check out before your time. I decree and declare you shall live to full age. The Bible says that Joseph lived and died being 110 years old. He lived to a full age. I decree and declare there is no nothing that shall die immature in your life. Your ideas shall live. Your glory shall leave. Your calling shall leave. Your ministry shall leave. You cannot give up right now. May God preserve your soul in the mighty name of Jesus. You are preserved in going out. You are preserved in coming in. As you take your journey, may God preserve you as you go out and may God preserve you as you come in in the name of Jesus Christ. And P number five is the P of prison break. You are going to break out of your prison. There is going to be a prison break. I decree and declare. For the Bible says in verse 24, and bring you out of this land. Jehovah promised that they are, he's going to break them out of that prison. In other words, there is a prison breaking uh, in their lives when God visits them. When God comes through for you, he, you break out of your prison. I see Paul and Silas. They are in prison. They have been bound and there are soldiers watching over them. But when they prayed and uh, God came down, there was a prison break. I decree and declare, may the visitation of God come upon you and let there be a prison break in your family. You shall break out of every prison in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, son of the living God. I see also Peter, he's being bound and he's in prison. But when God visited him, there was a prison breaking. I decree and declare your children who are bound in drugs addiction, they are breaking out of that prison. You are breaking out of that prison of affliction and despair and pain and anguish and affliction and curses. You're breaking out of that prison in the name of Jesus. For the Spirit of the Lord is upon me uh, to set free those who are captivated by the enemy. This morning I set you free. Free from the spirit of wandering. Free from the spirit of bondage. Free from the spirit of delay. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you be set free from afflictions of life, from, from seeking and you're not finding. I decree and declare you are being set free right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Whatever bound you last year, I decree and declare, let it break out of your life. For the Bible says, by the reason of the anointing, every yoke is broken. Let that yoke be broken. The 
the spirit of heaviness be broken. Let every shackle be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I set your family free of every curse, of every heaviness, of every failure. Whatever has bound you and your children, I set you free in the mighty name of Jesus that they finish school, they have their certificate, but they are not getting jobs. I break that bondage in the name of Jesus. I set them free. They said you cannot sow. They said you cannot go far. But this year, wherever you're watching me from, I decree and declare there is a prison break anointing coming on your way in the mighty name of Jesus. When God visited them, there was prison break. Number six is the P of possession. God says to them, I will take you out of this land to a land that I promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There is the aspects of possessing. And this year, I decree and declare, when God visits you, you begin to take over. You begin to possess whatever belongs to you, whatever standard, whatever promotion, whatever increase, whatever land, whatever territory, whatever place, whatever nation, whatever region, whatever God has said is for you. This is the year that God is visiting you for you to take your possession. I decree and declare whatever you lost last year will be recovered this year. Whatever territory you lost, uh, this is the year to take your possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will go to waste. Uh, you will possess what belongs to you. You shall get what belongs to you. And now I release an anointing over your life that God visits you. May there be an angelic dispatch from heaven right now to take you to the land of promise. He said, I will send an angel before you who will bring out uh, all the, 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 the people who might stand to hinder you from, pro, from, from possessing your land. And today, every limitation, whatever barrier, whatever calamity, whatever stands to hinder you, I decree and declare it is removed before you. Whoever was to say no for your application, may they say yes. Whatever stood between you and your land of promise. May you receive power to possess your possession in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And lastly is the P of prosperity. Is the P of prosperity. Exodus chapter 3 verse 7. As we finish, the Bible says, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in the land of who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because their task because of their taskmasters for I know their sorrows so I have come down to deliver them out of the land of the Egyptians and to bring them up from the to the land to, and to bring them up from that land to a good land and a large land to a land flowing with milk and honey to the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. So the word of God, when he visits you, these are the things that will happen in your life, that you're going to to the, to, to, to the promises of God will be fulfilled. There's going to be a prison break. There's going to be possessing. There's going to be prosperity. There's going to be posterity and there will be preservation. This year, I decree and declare that God is visiting you and your life can never be the same again. I know you've been blessed this morning and I want to pray with you. If you're not born again, kindly use the number that is on your screen to reach out to me and I will lead you to Jesus Christ because the purpose of this gospel of the kingdom is to bring you into the kingdom of the living God. And may you live to see the promises of God fulfilled upon your life and may God visit you this year in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, I pray 
for each and every viewer who is watching right now, who will watch after now, that God, your hand shall be upon them, that Father, may there be a divine visitation over, your, over their lives, O oh God, that those who are, who are in affliction, those who are in hospital beds, those who are in pain, those who are in sorrow, those who are mourning, O oh God, may you be their comfort. Visit them and bring comfort. Visit them and bring healing. Visit them and bring the deliberation in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray may your hand continually to watch over them and to watch over our nation. Even in this season of campaign, may you visit Kenya, oh God. Visit Kenya and bring sanity. Visit Kenya and bring unity. Bring peace and bring joy and love between tribes and between our leaders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we begin this January, we look up to you, O oh God, and we know that you shall visit our nation and that there shall be good report at the end of the day. We give you praise and we give you glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen and amen. May the Lord.